This s'mores skillet cookie is the only recipe you need this summer. It is so delicious, so toasty and warm, and has all the s'more flavors. We're gonna start by creaming together the butter and the sugar, then add in some vanilla and the one egg. From there, we're gonna add in the dry ingredients, which is some flour, baking soda, and salt. Then we're gonna crush in some graham crackers. As you can see, I did this part with my hands, but if you wanna use a food processor, you totally can, but I kinda like some texture in there, so I left some big pieces of graham crackers. Then we're gonna add in some chocolate. Again, I did this part with my hands, but you can chop it if you want. You can also use chocolate chips for this part, whatever you prefer. We're gonna go ahead and fold in the graham crackers and the chocolate into the cookie dough, then press that into a skillet. We're adding about three quarter amounts of the dough into the skillet initially. Then I'm gonna spread some marshmallow fluff on top of this cookie dough, add the rest of the cookie dough, and then do a little bit more fluff on top, which you'll see here. If you'd rather just use marshmallows, you can totally do that, but just be careful that when they bake, they might brown really fast on the top, so maybe just keep them inside the cookie dough. Otherwise, you can totally add more fluff on top like I am here, and it just came out so delicious. I ended up putting it on broil for the last minute while it was in the oven to brown it even more. Then added some Hershey rectangles on the top because it wouldn't be s'mores without Hershey's chocolate. And I tried to get a perfect bite at the end and I kept getting chocolate all over my face. So these are just kind of bloopers. Anyway, for the full recipe, head to thesqueakymixer.com which you can find linked in my bio or in the comments. Enjoy!